Getting there. Is choppy. Oh, mm -hmm. Audio is choppy. See, if we have this so, up, then we can watch yourself. So oh, maybe yeah. I'll get rid of that. If I got rid of it, how is it now? And Pat says the sound is not good. Oh no. So, that it looks better from our angle. I don't know if it's going to look better from other angles or not. Although I cannot have this seen on Cassie's eyes. That's <laughs> 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 driving me crazy. We, we All right, well, someone said it's better it's now. Is it better? Because okay. I, I took off the Facebook off of mine. I closed it completely. Because okay. maybe we were getting a reverb with having my Facebook going. Okay. Well, and Tristan's now here and Lynn's here. I know fancy words like reverb. <laughs> Jan. I can't explain to you what it means. Jan Fitzpatrick is actually watching from outside. Ooh. We're actually watching from air conditioning. <laughs> For it the first time in a month. Well, it's it's on its way down. It had to get over 82 degrees today. It was warmer inside than it was outside. Uh, so, what does this book do? This book made a message. She said, if we're closer, it's better. So I don't know if we were farther away before. or, um, But we're making progress. Ruth says it's good. So Okay, we're going to rely on you guys to watch the thing because I can't log into Iowa Falls. You won't let me go there. Okay. Because Facebook changed some stuff. Like, we're learning. And the new changes. I like to do that when you do comments. I do. Okay, guys, so we are here. Did we already do the sign? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were that. busy. <laughs> 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 that was when we were having all kinds of crisis earlier. But yes, it is. It's so sad. It's so live with Steph, Eileen, Cassie, Cassie. and like I said the earlier, crew. the crew. And, and we do have our new boss. Um, if you guys were here, was it Tuesday? Tuesday? Yeah. If you guys were here on Tuesday, you met our new boss, um, and he is the boss. Let me tell you, he's already fired Megan, his auntie. Um, <laughs> I did it. <laughs> oh, you didn't. I thought you did. I thought I so do. Oh, okay. She's back. She's back. Yes. So she's been rehired. So yay. Um, <laughs> he's and, not having to do the paperwork, is he? You know, <laughs> and he uh, got to spend time with his great grandma's cat. And he made something, so we're going to have him on here in a little bit to show what he made. Are you excited, Sebastian? Not yet, not yet, not, not yet. yet. Almost, almost. Um, we got a lot of goodies for you. Of course, we got Cassie's for me. And she's wearing my shirt today. Yep. Well, her shirt, <laughs> but I've got one to this shirt. Yeah. Really cool. I know. I should. I actually well, was trying to remember if you had this one or if you had a different one. Well, yeah. Well, exactly and you were going to yep. wear your other one too, the one that was the Seahawks. Oh yeah, shirt. I wore that yesterday. So, so then I daylight and I thought day. as, I, as I wore it, and I thought I should have looked in there. So, you know, oh, well. so today is pink plaid. Pink plaid day, because you know <laughs> it's pink plaid day. So okay. what do we got going on, you guys? Well, I think we just start left to right. We well, start do you going. Do announcements first. We can certainly do announcements. Um, we are still in the middle of our Lucky 7 shop-off. 
so those are all right on the interstates so it should be they're not too far off the interstates from any of them there's seven shops and you get the list of all of them i think so or at least got the little, there was a little green thing down here there's a yellow thing there. Yeah, don't try to make large round stuff. Anyway, we've shared it before, but um, the three shops in our area are Mended Hearts, uh, Soviet, and us. And there we go. Oh, hey, there's the green thing over there by the. Oh, this the same thing. <laughs> okay, so Lucky Seven Poker Run on I-80 and I-35. It is the, from the 10th through the 20th. The 20th is two more days. Two more days. So, and that matches up with our thread sale for our Orofil 40 weight. Say it like this. Orofil. 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 Sounds like it's awful. Or not awful. So, okay, so um, make sure you have your green card if you go to your seven stores. You can do it all in one day. It's a little bit of driving, but two days is probably recommended for this, um, for Lucky Seven. And if you bring in, if you wear your Iowa State Fair wrist bracelet thing, you'll get an extra card. You'll get a card for walking in and a card for $25, every $25 that you spend. So, and someone who got her entire hand just by walking in here. And if you pull a joker, you get a free pack for her. That's true. So, the stores are Rainbow and Calica Things, Crazy Redhead Quilting, Off the Rails, Quilters covered, it's so tempting, so be it, and mended hearts quilting and boutique. Can I do some? Of course. <laughs> Just remember who gets to pick those up. <laughs> no, it's not Sebastian, can you thank you. Up for me? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Eleanor. Oh, you got the joker. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. And like I mentioned earlier, we are having a sale buy one, get one 50% off the for, for the 40 weight or a fell thread. I like joker. And so. Just to have that reminder, we have some that are variegated, and then we have some that are plain colors. And it's more than just the purple. We've got lots of colors, so it's great for quiltings. So yes, lots of color options. It's always fun doing that. Can you imagine doing that with money? You know how they do that with money? Oh, I wouldn't know that. <laughs> make it rain. Make it rain. Okay, do we have any other announcements um, so we have to go through? We've got the Des Moines Quilt Show coming up in September, September 22nd, 23rd, and 24th. It is at the Iowa State Fairgrounds in the 4-H building, mm -hmm. so that is coming up soon. And speaking of the fair, if y'all haven't been, you really need to go, because if you love our Miss Chris Hobbs, you need to see what she's got there. She's got her newest pattern, her newest quilt out, and it is fabulous. Darla saw it. She took pictures, and she got grand prize. She, she won. Yeah. So our Miss Christine Hobbs from, from Hobbs Designs won grand prize and it is adorable i guess i can tell people what it is do you want to show it to them i want to show it to them okay it's cute that's the latest quilt you guys it is so cool i will it learn is. paper paper piecing just for this i will tell you that i love, I love this penguins. is my favorite one so every time somebody come in i was like oh oh she's got a new one coming out i can't tell you what it is but it is my favorite one. It's it obviously not a secret anymore if she's winning no. prizes. No. <laughs> so you guys, if you want an award-winning quilt, you need to pre-order her penguin. What's it called? What? Adoration. Adoration? Mm -hmm. Adoration is the name of the quilt. So you guys, come in and talk to us. We'll get it pre-ordered for you because as soon as she gets it in and we get it, of course, we're going to have her on the show. We're going to be talking about it. It's going to be fabulous. So anyways, uh, Des Moines Quilt Show. 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Uh, I will fall to will be there. So if you want to go check it out. Okay. Um, I think it's a good one. Where's this? Oh, Ryan Gardens. That's what he's going to do. Oh, okay. Stands well, you want to check out. Okay. So this is Ryan Gardens. Got a little piece of picture. They are having a garden quilt show on Cameras Friday, August 26th. Camera's up there now. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm sure. Well, they can still see it up there, down there because I'm seeing showing it down there. Anyway. <laughs> I guess I should have done that. Too. We got a new camera, guys, so we we forget we're we're looking down here. We should be looking up there now. But see, it's still it shows good there. No, but that's just us. That's not going out to oh. anybody. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna look like dorks. <laughs> oh, people! Why? There's so much to know. Casey, we need you to stand behind her and go like this. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Anyway, do we need to tell people more about that? 
August 26th through the 28th, the, through the 28th, the 28th, 28th at the Ryman Gardens. So you guys, Darla can tell us a bit about Ryman Gardens. You don't have to come up here if you don't want to. Because oh, you volunteer at Ryman Gardens. Ryman Gardens is a, a pub, uh, well, it's owned by the Iowa State University. It's a garden that you can go in and visit and be there. Um, I actually had a quilt that was displayed at the quilt oh. uh, several years ago. I'd given it to a girlfriend and she displayed it. Oh, cool. But there's a lot of uh, plants, um, all sorts of plants. It's beautiful. Um, and they have a butterfly section the, all yes, year round there, don't they? The butterfly, mm -hmm. there are... Um, they usually have 700, 800 butterflies flying at one time all year round. It's temperatures somewhere in the 70s all year round. So when it gets really cold here, you guys, you want to make sure that you go to the Ryman Gardens for the butterfly. It's a butterfly wing. Butterfly wing. Yeah, it's an actual building. Yeah. It's, it's in the actual, building. You said how many? Six? There's about seven to 800 butterflies flying at one time. And the butterflies are from all over the world, butterflies you will not see in the United States. So I've never been there. I think we really, I oh, really I've need been, to go there. Oh, I've been there several yeah. times. So seven Mostly to when the kids were young. Yeah, seven, we oh, you do. Mm -hmm. So seven to 800 butterflies are flying in this one area all at the same time. Well, they're probably not all flying at the same time. They're so all they're landed there. and, mm -hmm. you know, all that yeah. kind of stuff. So um, anyway, so the Ryman Gardens is having a cool show, and it's, is it like, um, fee to get in? Uh, yeah, unless you're a member. Okay. It, members get it. They've already paid, you know. Sure. But it's, I can't remember the rate because I'm a member. So, okay. um, it's, a, you know, ISU students have one rate, seniors have one rate, children have another rate. So, expect to pay some sort of fee, maybe five, ten dollars to get in. But I'm assuming that the proceeds of that goes towards Ryman Gardens and keeping um, that going. So, yeah. that's really awesome. Okay. And that's happening the 26th through the 28th of August. Okay. I think that's it for announcements. I think so. Yep. Um, I think Progressive Dinner is happening soon. Progressive Dinner is happening in Story City on August 31st. Um, it is celebrating by the decade. I will be actually down at the pharmacy doing it. So you're doing it, it for New Kara. I'm going to be doing it for New Kara. Um, but it's going to be up and down the street, and it's... I don't think it's a whole lot. I think it's like ten dollars for tickets. Yeah. If it's like last year, are you going to be doing it? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's a great nineteen ten Oreos. Ooh, nineteen ten <laughs> Oreos. You cannot go awesome. wrong with Oreos, you guys. Oreos and, are awesome. And Nukera is doing charcuterie. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think it's just so they made me learn how to say the word because I'm really bad at saying it. Yeah. Well, you've got that like yeah. tea towel or something. Yep. That gives the kinetic story. It's a. Mm -hmm. Adult lunchable. Adult, there you go. Yes. Like say. <laughs> yes, very much so. All right, so. Sebastian, are you ready to come show off what you did? Yeah. All right, you guys. So this is Mr. Sebastian. I'm the boss. He is the boss, <laughs> and he will let you know. So very carefully step up. There you, there you go. So again, if you were here on Tuesday, you saw this little guy in here, and he was up selling like no other, you guys. His auntie taught him well, or I don't know, is that maybe just a natural thing for him? Natural. Um, natural. natural. So this is Miss Pat Minnick's great-grandson, and she was the one that's going to be doing our Emma Block of the Month on uh, Saturday, this Saturday at 1030. So what did you make with great-grandma? A blanket. You made a blanket? Oh, it's bad. And it's got... Well, who's there? Maybe, maybe toy. Your brother's oh. toy? This is for your brother's baby toy? I love the okay. fabric. This is beautiful. And what did you, job. did you get to sew? Um, yes. Yeah? And I also got to make the blanket for my little guy named Marshall. Okay, so you made it for your little guy too? He's going to make a second blanket. Oh, you're going to make a second blanket. Come here. Well, you were, oh, just if I remember correctly, didn't you get a T-Rex from your great grandma? Your T-Rex blanket. Your T-Rex blanket? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do so, you like to fight with your brother? With your like, T Rex blanket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't fight a lot. You don't yeah. fight a lot? It's probably yeah. a little big for him to be quite fighting with yet. No, huh? we don't fight a little bit, so not in the car. So I'm all the way in the back right now. Mm -hmm. You sit all the way in the back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of hard, hard to fight in the car when you're all the way in the back, huh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, thanks. So, so when you were here, you were manning the register for a little bit, weren't you? Yeah. You were going bananas with that little shooter gun thing, right? The 
scanning gun? Did we earn a million dollars that day or what? I think so. I think you did real good. Huh? I think we had to count our money today. Yes, we had to count the money. Yeah. And you were bummed when people paid not with cash because you wanted to count the money, huh? Yeah. But people got friends, Carl. Too bad they use their credit cards. It's easier, but it's not as much fun to count. So huh? only when we have one dollar on their credit card, nothing. Uh, they only have one dollar, they get nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you had fun. And you got to give people their, their playing cards too, didn't you? Yeah. That was fun, wasn't it? Yes. I got full away like money. Yeah. Oh, you wanna try to slide it? Do that? Oh you went all the way up. Okay. Well, all right, no more, no more. It's gonna end up in your wine, you know that? No, that's it. Yeah. Fist bump. You did good. You did okay. really good. And then, and then did, did, you, did you help with us with the block of the month too? Putting our kits together. Remember that? With the bags and stickers. Remember that? Mm -hmm. So you guys, you will be getting one of the kits that our new boss Sebastian helped put together. So that was a lot of fun. What you get with people? You get to play. That's what you get. It's a whole game. You get a whole game. Card. I don't know what. <coughs> <laughs> well. Make the pain go. That might be something for you to learn, learn when you're older. Oh, it's so fun. All, All right, right, buddy. Thank, thank you, you for bringing that so in. I want, so, much. so I want to stay on the stage, Epi. I'm staying on my day on this. You want to stay you on the stay? stage? You yeah. want to stay up here? You have to be quiet. Okay. You're going to be right there. Perfect. All right, you guys. So this is our new boss, Sebastian. He made us a million dollars. He was fabulous. He did great. He also so he's the boss. I mean... Now he gets all the money. <laughs> <laughs> He's no fool. <cool. laughs> all right, you guys. Okay. So we had last week we talked about doing uh, more culture select stuff. So um, if you come in, you have seen us demoing all of our awesome culture select stuff. We use it all the time. We've got a bunch over there. I kind of keep remembering to look up. Mm. Right. Yeah. So we love our culture select I always, rulers. I always was there. All right. We love our culture select rulers, but culture select is so much more than rulers and rotary cutters. It also, they have a lot of applique stuff. They've got some webbing, some the things that you can use when you're doing embroidery. <laughs> um, this crazy doohickey <laughs> right here is kind of a concept project that they had talked about in one of their whatevers. But basically, you're making your own fabric using like all of your itty bitty scraps. Now, when we had tried doing this, I think we had our heat on too high, so it didn't bond very well. So this is kind of a concept in progress, um, but it is so promising. It yeah, it's promising. But this is using the Apple Web um, product from Quilter Select, and this, this package comes as a 20 inch by two yards, so you get quite a bit in here. Um, and again, it you know it's for sheer softness with your applique projects when layering. So if you're going to be doing a lot of layering and you need just something soft and malleable, it is really a nice product. Um, and it drapes. I mean, look at the drape on that. So if you don't want to lose the drape of fabric, maybe you're doing something with, with um, clothing, this is a great product to be using. It's very thin, so it's not going to add a whole lot of weight to it. I mean, the word Apple web is perfect because it is kind of like Recommended by Spider Man. <laughs> Can you do Spider Man? There you go. Awesome, bud. Uh, what? It was raining money, that would be awesome. If it was raining money, that would be awesome. Oh, yes, it would be awesome. And if you'd like to help money. with that, please send us your money. <laughs> yeah, come in here and make it rain. rain. Either here at Creative Endeavors, you absolutely can. All right, bud, we're going to show them this one next, okay? Do you know what this is? Okay, guys. So here's another item that we have, and I absolutely love, and I don't know why we don't talk about it more. It's called Apple Stick, and it can come in these eight by ten sheets that you can actually run through your printer, and it'll tell you what kind of printer it works best. I think it's inkjet. Not yet, but we're going to show that to him next. Okay, we got to do it in order. Okay. Well, we're going to do this one first, then this one, and then that. It right. also adheres to paper and wood. Yes. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. sure that. So, so you run your, your pattern or whatever through your copier, 
and you print it out, and you get something kind of like this. Yeah, you can't see it. Can you see it on there, you guys? Okay, so it's ice cream cones. Yeah. And you want to do multiple of them because you're going to want to have, like, the scoops, all the different scoops, because for my project, I wanted to do with the scoops. And you're thinking, oh, okay, it's just another applique, like, webbing or whatever product. product. Mm -hmm. What's the big deal about it? Well, the name, Apple Stick. So here is my little applique project. And let's pretend I've got it on a big quilt. But I don't like where I have it. So the beauty part is that the back side is actually a sticker. So I can sticker it anywhere I want in the process of doing my applique. So maybe I want it down here like that. And maybe I want this scoop to be like cattywankus like that. But I could sit here and play. And I've had this on this for over a year and it's still sticky. So once I get it into the spot that I want, because you know sometimes you you know are going around and then you get it ready. So now it's in place, and now I can actually iron it into place. And they said something about holding on there for at least three seconds. Right when you're going to do yeah. your iron. Mm -hmm. So it's just like the normal way to iron. <laughs> Oops, let's show them this side. When you're putting on your applique, so you're putting it on the wrong side of your fabric. You know, and you're trimming it out to an eighth or so an inch around, and then you trim it down to the actual applique size that you need, just like that. Then you peel that backing off, the paper backing, and then that's your sticker. So how fun is that? Now imagine you guys using this in a baby's room or a little guy's room where you do like a dinosaur, and you use this and you can stick it up on the wall. And then what I've heard some people do is that they actually do take an iron not a hot one, and they actually do put it up on the wall using the iron, and it seems to be okay. It doesn't seem to be damaging the paint or anything. So, just some really awesome. What, buddy? Hi. <laughs> He's picking the ice cream. And he's done. <laughs> no, he loves ice cream. Right, stop, stop, stop. Thank you, Sebastian. Good job. So, it, this is just some really great ideas for decorating and also your applique. The thing that's nice about that one is it comes in printable size. Mm -hmm as well as a roll. Yes. So you could draw it on here. Or trace it. Yeah. Trace it on there from something. Yeah. And it's just really cool. It, it's, it's a fun. If you guys come in here, we do have these samples of all these different, um, like, quilter stuff, the tearaway. So, like, if you're doing embroidery projects on your machine, all these different kind of uh, set printing piece fusing. So if you're doing paper piecing, we've got some products in there. As a matter of fact, if you are joining our Emma Block of the Month, you will get to test some of this stuff, and it will be fun. You're back. Yeah? Okay. All right. So, you wanted to... Okay. Oh, this was... Oh, oh. This is Dwayne's. Oh. Plus, we've got these Class 15 free wound bobbins, and thank you, bud, in two different kind of colorways. We've got the black and white, and we also have a neutral, which has white, yellows, or tans, and grays, and blacks. So, well, and those are really nice yeah. because the, once you're done with them, you still have a whole bunch of extra bobbins floating around. And who can now not hurt you use some extra yeah. bobbins? So if your machine takes class 15 bobbins, these will work out. So like our baby locks take them. Um, I'm not sure which other machines do, but it's pretty easy to figure that out. Oh, you can look it up. So, so we have a couple of machines to show you. Wayne has been playing... I don't know, are you saying Frankenstein? I'm or calling it Frankenstein, but it's probably not a good way to call it. Anyway, but he's having fun putting a whole bunch of machines back together and making them work. So, these are some that he found. Oh, that's right up there. <laughs> okay, up there. So, this is one of his sewing machines that he was working on today. And he actually found all the parts. He still has more to work on, but it looks like he had a lot to uh, reassemble, but he made it work. And he said the stitches are, are good, so. It's a functioning machine. And, and it's a functioning machine. And, and here's the cool thing. something about New National. Here's the cool thing is, is that he's actually putting these sewing machines together and selling them. So if you guys are on the lookout for a sewing machine, reasonably priced, mm -hmm. that is refurbished. Mind you, this is not a new sewing machine. This is not one that's gonna have manufacturer warranty on it. But if you're just looking for something, then we probably got something that will help you. Like if you don't want to use your machine up doing whatever project you're doing, then this is a good way to do it. 
So anyway, so but he has a lot of these, but this is his most recent one. That's awesome. And he's having a blast doing it. Okay, so next nice. sewing machine we want to show you is my son Cooper's new sewing machine that he bought himself. So if you all know, he's looking out at Quality Sewing and Zach in Kirkland, Washington. And this is his new sewing machine. So I just had to show it off. It's a Janome P something. I can't remember exactly what it is. But that's that's the sewing machine that is his now. So anyways, I just want to share that because, you know. Proud mom. Proud mama. At uh, 6,600. Fifty just blew it up to 8 by 10. Wow. So it's it's pretty cool. It's professional, and he says it's built like a brick. So it's pretty exciting on that one. Um, so now we have Miss Cassie here. You know what, Ben? I'm gonna have to have you hop down because Cassie's gonna get a bunch of stuff out. So if you want to sit right over here on this side, sit on this side. And we're gonna clear the deck. Can you help me clear the deck? She's got her band full of delights. Yeah, bye. Band full of delights. So we're going to move that in the party towel here. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to pull up this one. <laughs> How about the wine? Because I'm wearing a wine a little after lot shirt today. Um, so we have John Marinowski's wine, who is Red Barn Wine out here in Surrey City. And he just went and told us he won a whole bunch of awards at the Iowa State Fair this year for his wine. So I just wanted to give him a quick shout out. And um, we carry most of his wine. It's not all of them in the shop, but we do carry most of them. So do you realize that right now, under this roof, we have two award-winning peoples. Right. We've got his wine yep. and Chris's patterns. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so awesome. I Actually, guess it's people we know, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And I saw her um, stuff at the fair too, and I was like, I immediately knew it was the party we saw it. Um, yes. And it's all because of the shop. <laughs> Story, <laughs> City. Story City people, you guys. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Representing well. Mm-hmm. All right. And then, speaking of the shirt, I've got we've got more shirts in the shop. This is the newest one, um, the Small Town Girl. Or just, just a small town girl. Just a small town girl. <laughs> isn't that a song? Yes. Okay. Um, but Open it, 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 yeah, living in a small town girl. Living in a small town. Story city world. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um, I just want to bring this in because I, I just like think it's color. really pretty. I love the color of it. So, yeah. Okay, and now remind us this yes. is a Life is Good product. Life is Good brand. Yep. And um, so the cool thing about this brand is they give 10% back to kids in need. Um, and their products are just really great. They hold up. Um, my mom's had the same shirts for years, and they just, they're just awesome. Very good. Mm-hmm. It's a nice, and they're super soft. Like the quality of them, it's not like a Walmart shirt, t-shirt that you're gonna go get. Cause sometimes they've got like those cute little saying shirts mm-hmm. that then like fall apart when you wash them. Yep. I've got mine, which is the one that she's wearing right now, and I've washed it a ton, and it's still, it's like brand new still. Yeah, no, they're they. I mean, I I think I even have a couple that are like over ten years old. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> and I think really the good. best part is the little tag. Oh yeah, they have this cute little tag on there. It says, "Do what you love, love what you do." Do what, what you love, love what you do. On every single one of their shirts down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it over there, but that's fine. Can you see it? Maybe not. No. Okay. Well, it may be like you're there. <laughs> it's there, whether you it's can there. see it or not. It is there. We also got some new puzzles in the shop, which I'm really excited about. Ooh. They're called Something Amiss Puzzles. So, on your face flag. Yeah, so these, they change. There's a lot going on in here, so I didn't notice. Um, but it's Something Amiss Puzzles. And the cool thing about this, each one of the puzzles has something different. So you'll be putting this together, and you'll realize, for example, on this one, there's an Iowa flag up here. It'll magically appear down here at the bottom and vice versa. So we'll just switch places. Or you'll randomly in this cornfield see a bunch of um, windmills in there. So it sounds like it might be challenging. And it is challenging. Like it, if you're like, <laughs> I have to be what's on here. But it's it's not bad. I just put one together myself. And I, I, I adore these now. So these are my new favorite puzzles. Um, but yeah, so this one's this one's called this Iowa Spirit, and so it's everything in here is Iowa related, and there's things on here. Oh, Iowa State Fair time. This cow here turns into the butter cow. 
Oh, nice. So that's the only ones I'm going to give away. There's, there's, I think, 20 or so different changes in each couple. Oh, wow. Um, and then when you uh, get them and open them up, there's a card that takes you to the website um, that tells you all the different changes that are in the pebbles okay. and you can find it. So just in case you think you're going nuts and you need a little <laughs> clarification, you can go out to the website. Yes. There is a, there's a way to look them up. And they're just really fun. And we had to, of course, get Nordic Love. Um, oh, Nordic Love 1 for Story City. My favorite thing is that it says Ufta. <laughs> Classic comic. Yes. So, um, but yeah. Let's see what else do they have. Any other words I recognize? Oh, probably. Okay. Tuck. Tuck. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lefsa. Yeg. Sauna. Is that Yeg for Jägermeister? No. <laughs> no, I think it. I think it's. Is that day? I don't know. Yeah. Skull. Not like mm -hmm. chairs. Mm -hmm. Or we eat the skull of our. Enemies. <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. Yeah, so That's very cool. we had to get one of those, and they're they're just a really fun puzzle. Okay, what else? Do we have? Oh, <laughs> so if you are a coffee drinker, we have Door County My Coffee. Daddy. Your daddy is. Oh, so okay. Yeah. You would like one of these. So we've got five different kinds of autumn. We have all of our normal ones that they come out with special flavors. Yep, so we got bourbon pecan pie and Door County maple. Oh, and for the end. Um, caramel apple, pumpkin spice, and autumn spice are the new ones in. Those so, sound wonderful. If I liked coffee, that would be. So, yes. yes. I'm sorry, and there's a bourbon one? Yes. I figured that was a bourbon pecan pie. Bourbon pecan pie. My daddy would like this one. You think you'd like, like that one? That's a good one. Because it is almost pumpkin spice time, people. Yes. No, don't throw it. <laughs> Which one's that one? That one is autumn spice. Ooh, that's for cinnamon lovers. Do you like cinnamon? No, my daddy likes. Your dad would my like daddy that one? likes coffee, so he might really like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that would be put in the coffee. Yeah. Put it in his coffee. Or water. Or water. Uh-huh. There he you go. He drinks both. <laughs> he drinks both. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. You want to do that, Daddy? We were discussing going to Door County. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Where, okay, where is Door County? It's in Wisconsin. Oh! <gasps> Will you bring me back spotted? I know oh, that we go. go. I don't even know that we're going. We've discussed it. Because we're going to take a vacation. Because everybody knows that if you've traveled to Wisconsin and you know me, you should be bringing me back. Oh, please bring me back some spotted cow. <laughs> <laughs> please give me. If you know me. If you know me. You probably want an actual cow. If you don't know me, then, you know, you can do that, too. <laughs> I'm okay with that. Please swing by the shop. Yeah, Our yeah, shop yeah. address is 407 Broad Street in Story City. <laughs> Turn around, bud. Turn around. Here's upside down. Flip it upside down. Watch him. I need to go back to the There we go. We also have some um, <laughs> talking sticks, is I think what they're called. Yeah, well, I can see that, too. Point right here, bud. Yeah. Don't wave it. There you go. And so these are made by Sincere Surroundings, which is an Iowa company, which is why we love them so much. Um, but they're, I grab my two favorite ones. I, I make wine disappear. What's your superpower? Oh my gosh, I have a superpower? <laughs> <laughs> and I hate being late, but I'm so good at it. That when, oh, that one cracks me up. <laughs> Those are good. And then, what else do we have? Oh, so we found a small um, company. I think they're out of New York. Um, it's a small business, woman owned business that does teas. So we're starting to carry a line of teas at the shop, too. So, um, nice. we have ginger jazz, refresh, and gift by the first time. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, so they are just individual tins, and each one has, um, oh, it's loose leaf. Yep, they're loose leaf, 0.75 ounces, and we and we have a teapot at the shop, too. Okay, so you guys, on, on the label, it tells you what temperature your water needs to be at for the best brewing experience or the best steeping experience. How much? So one teaspoon, and then the steeping time, which just says four to five minutes for the ginger jazz. Yep. That's awesome. Because a lot of times, you know, you're just doing like lifting or something like that, and you just stick it in. Okay, water turned brown, it's ready to go. It's sometimes hard to tell with some of these nicer teas, herbal teas, how long you need to steep it. And sometimes you've got like those um, egg timer, or not egg timer, but the, what do you call those? Yeah. The sand timers, I guess. Hourglass. Hourglass, Hourglass. thank you. Um, that will actually... You just do it and it does the right time. If you go to Lucky Duck, 
which I'm plugging for Mac and Doc. Please give me free fish and chips, Mac and Doc. Um, <laughs> Um, they they have that for you there, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah. so that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. And so we've got five different kinds of that, and um, again, woman-owned business, and we were just really excited to have her stuff in. Let's see. Um, and we've got a new lotion bar in the shop. So this one's peppermint. I love this one. And they're really cute. They look, kind of look like my mom's soaps that we have in the shop, yeah. but they're um, they're impressed with like a little bee on there. Oh, and it's a lotion? It's a lotion. Oh, so you can, um, you just take it out and you just rub your hands around yeah. it. And you Did you smell something like that? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah. Sorry, bud. Does that smell good? <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. It's the boss approved. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, so we've got four different kinds of this in the shop. I only brought the one peppermint because that was my favorite one. But. Can you use them as chapstick, do you think? Mm, I know that they have a chapstick, but I'm not sure if it, I'm not sure if it would taste I don't know what kind of stuff they have in it to make a difference, but maybe. We should try it. So well, let's just try it. It's his body. I don't know. I'm the boss. <laughs> He's the boss. Let's just try it. Yeah. Is that the something, something, and find out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and then uh, we have, so we have two lines of cards now in the shop. This is the new one with Shannon Martin Designs. And um, we love this because it's a, a, I believe it's a family owned company as well. 100% um, made in the USA, 100% recycled materials they use, great price point of $3.95 per card. Um, but they are making sure this is appropriate. Um, okay, so this one's, this one's a sincere card. It says, don't worry if you make waves. Um, simply by being yourself, the moon does it all the time. Oh, I love so, that. And it's blank inside, or no, it's not, this one's not. Hope your birthday is a big splash. So this is a birthday one, yeah, but uh, our birthday one. So we have, this is our line that is for like specific days. Um, we've got birthdays, anniversaries, retirement, um, engagement. I love this. We have a question. Yeah. Oh. Do you sell the temperature timers at your shop? I think no. Don't. But that's a good idea. So no, we do not have the temperature timers, but that's a good idea. We have at the shop for our teas, we've got the, um, like if you take a pot of coffee off of the um, stove, you can pour it, or not coffee, pot of water off of the stove, you can pour it over, um, we have a, I should have just in, um, we have little teapots that you pour them in over the loose leaf so they can steep it. So she's got the device mm -hmm. to go with your loose leaf tea to in Enjoy the tea. Yes. So we've got larger pots, and we also have single serve cups, and we have um, and just little tiny small pots. So if you want one for like two cups, we have that. If you want one for an entire like group of people, we have those. I like the fact that say you don't know that much about tea, mm -hmm. and you want to get into it, it has the information, so yeah. you don't look like an idiot. I mean, so stubborn. <laughs> right. Yeah. So it's it's great. A lot of times uh, we've had that question. You know, how long do I steep it? Um, how much do I use specifically with the big one? And I love that it says it right here on the top for you. So as long as you have the tin, you're in a millisecond. And it's super cute tin, reusable. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what we're all about: reusing, upcycling, upcycling, upcycling. Yep. Exactly. Our sewing machines, our <laughs> containers, containers, yeah. whatever. And I think that's it. That's it. Oh, well, you brought right. a very awesome. You always bring really cool stuff, but I really enjoy the selection design. Yeah, thank you. So, <laughs> thank you, Miss Cassie. That's Cassie from Cassie's Corner. And Hello. if you guys don't know, she's from Creative Endeavors. You guys need to go follow her on Facebook. Her and mom has started doing some live stuff. Yep. So um, on one of their lives, I caught the new puzzles that have come in, and those look super fun. So definitely go out and follow them on um, Facebook. It's Creative Endeavors. Yep. So I don't know, if, um, Megan, if we can tag them sometime. Um, let's see. Try to tag them. But um, if you guys go out there, be sure to follow them. Doesn't look like we can tag, but definitely yeah. go. Definitely Def go out there. Okay. Yep. All right, you guys. So now we are gonna do some food. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So Miss Steph put this beautiful quilt together. It, it'll just come down if you want. I didn't like put it up there very well. Oh, I didn't know if we should just hold it out or if we should. No, but it'll come down. <laughs> this is Addison of Villa Rosa Pattern. 
and it is using the sunshine material from in the beginning fabrics and it is just i mean look at the light coming through that it's just absolutely beautiful yeah right it's like, <laughs> like the rainbow like people flowing a car right yeah. it's so beautiful so she's got this put together we are going to be kitting this out um here and then we've got another one at, at iowa falls so that we're going to be actually bringing here um to sell as well but this is just gorgeous fabric you guys this is actually one of the fabric lines that is in the new villa rosa pattern because i went online and oh, they okay. did use sunshine in that pattern really which is really cool in the addison not in addison it was the one that <laughs> one of the new ones that came out okay um, so anyways you guys it's beautiful stuff did a fabulous job on that one but how, did it take you very long to put together no the, the cutting took just a little bit of time the, I probably, if I had been able to just concentrate, I could have gotten the whole thing done in one day. But because I had a couple hours at night, that's how it. I did it. I did, I just cut it one day, then I sewed it, sewed the first part, and then I, because I was only doing like two hours at a time. So that takes 12 fat quarters, and Stephanie Wayne actually put together, these are half yard cuts of that sunshine uh, fabric, and they're beautifully done. She did them, or they did them in this kind of cute little triangle thing. Um, so really, you just need six of these if you're going to do this pattern. You only need six. What I did do, because I used all of the fabric, I did um, basically a 40 yard cut okay. of all of the fabric. And then that gave me enough. And I actually had two extra pieces, so you don't have to have the full amount. So you got a lot of options. Yeah. So and I still have other pieces left. So. Yeah. So lots of good things. So. This is beautiful. We also have this is from the Sunshine line as well. Um, it, yeah, let's open it. This is a border fabric. If you guys remember um, the, oh gosh, what is that called? That pattern out there. Keep doing. The one that we used, this one it was the 60 degree triangle. The hexagon line. Oh, the hexagon. Okay. Yeah. The, ah, right? Yeah. That one. That one. It's the one that's the purple thing. It's the one. Heather? No. No. It, it, it's a. Uh... Okay. I'm done. Anyways, it uses border fabric and just a plain. So if you pair this guy with this guy, you're going to be able to get the same kind of look. It's really cool. Stuff's going to go grab it in the pattern. We're out of kits. Um, but this would be another fabulous one. Just look at these beautiful, gorgeous. Here, bud. Walk this way. Because you're getting dangerously close to the edge. And I want you to hold this up for me. Can you hold that up for me? And show us all the folks. Hold it up nice. Haven. Haven. I know it was an H. Look at that beautiful blues and reds and yellows and greens. I mean, she's and nobody's going to see me. It's a one yard repeat. One, yeah, one yard repeat. It's just gorgeous. And then this is the fabric. That's, 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 that's the pattern. Oh, I, <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh, they got to show them up here, huh? We got to do. We gotta and this is what you're doing. Okay, so I should hold it back up. So. This would be a gorgeous, gorgeous fabric to do that pattern with. We've got, I think, one or two patterns left. I would be at the edge. And you don't have to use this guy with it because I think it takes like six yards of that plus some in order to do that. So which we don't have to do that pattern. Oh, to do that pattern. Yeah, it takes like six yards. Well, I was going to say for the one that I did, this only took like two thirds of a yard. So, so yeah. All right, you guys. Now. I was the one that did country register food. Yeah, Eileen was making stuff. So we'll see how it turns out. Now it's just a salad, and it's a little weird. It's page thirteen in your country register. Get it, huh? It's called Bye. the fresh okay. summer salad. Ah, <laughs> I am never gonna remember that. I'm gonna make okay. a sign to put on your screen. It's not gonna make any difference. <laughs> I'm still. Alive. You guys, you've been doing this for a year and a half, and I'm never going to remember how to get that switch. Okay. So, in our salad, we have zucchini. We have yellow squash. We have carrot. We have tomato. We have onion. Is there something else I'm missing? So, we've got yellow squash, zucchini, tomato, carrot, green onion, We've got ranch dressing. I'm gonna look up here. Yes. Ranch dressing, which is odd, and it told me to use fat-free. I don't agree with fat-free. We're using full fat, full-on fat dressing. There's a little bit too much onion, I believe. It calls for three green onions. I would take that down to two. I love onion, but I think it's too much. 
Um, the carrots, I just use like the you know, snackable carrots. You guys, I don't like it. Oh, is it green pepper? Oh, green pepper's in there too. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I do not like it. I've already I tried like it. I like green pepper. Darla likes the it. Thing you know. It's not my favorite. I think it's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. So, mm -hmm. I, I did taste test it as I was doing it, which I know we're not supposed to do because that's kind of, but I forgot because I always taste as I'm making stuff, like salt and enough pepper and all that kind of stuff. Steph's going to hate it because it's got green onion in it. I think I like the rest of it. I yeah, like I think the thing. I think it is very <laughs> onion -y for me. Mm -hmm. I, would have avoided, I would have avoided the onion. I'm trying to avoid the onion. Mm. But. I don't like it. <coughs> I'm going to say, so Monica, when you say we like everything, mm, I don't like it. No. Not a fan. No offense, country register. And whoever well, and for some this. reason, we only seem to like the baking items as opposed to the healthy items. I don't like Weird. it at all. You didn't like it at all? <laughs> you didn't like something else, you know? uh, Is one boss from another to another? I agree, but. He's a boss or not. If we were co bosses, we were co bosses. Oh, yeah. So, How about the rest of us? Are we pushed out? Well, we're all pushed no. out now. He's oh. there, though. Oh, okay. So, so, so you are, the are people we all fired? Who help me. Oh, we're all hired? Yeah. Okay. You have to help me. Oh, good. Oh, good. So you don't, what didn't you like about it? I didn't like nothing. You didn't like nothing? <laughs> that was all terrible, huh? I didn't like <laughs> green pepper at all, so make green peppers out. You gotta be out. What else? I didn't like the whole, I didn't like the whole thing. Right? <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> the whole thing. So, so it probably could be very delicious. Maybe it was the chef. You know, I don't know. Actually, I don't mind it. It's, it's not. We'll just eliminate the. Mm -hmm. And see, I know people who don't like tomatoes, so they've eliminated the tomatoes. And I know people who don't like onions, so they've eliminated the onions or the green peppers. So. We need something to cleanse your palate because it's just so awful. I agree. Shall we? Casey, okay, so there's juices in this one. Yeah. It was a consensus. So it's half and half. Darla likes it. And Steph doesn't we like also it. Has I, I, yeah, I'm so okay with it. I'm good with it. Yeah, You're okay with I'm it. okay with it. I mean, it's not my favorite thing, but it's probably not the worst thing ever. And I'm gonna Show like probably be ostracized. I'm probably be ostracized by all Iowans, but I'm not a big fan of ranch dressing. Mm. That is sort of an anti-Iowan thing. <laughs> so I think I that like might Italian. be part of the problem. We should call all my kids don't like ranch. I don't you know. know what. Nope. They don't. Italian. I mean, it's much I don't better. mind ranch dressing, like with uh, JoJo's. Mm -hmm. If y'all, mm -hmm. you guys know what JoJo's are? The JoJo's are the thick. Potato wedges. Oh, yeah. We call them JoJo's in the Pacific Northwest. Um, okay. Well, there's a couple more things before we end up closing up here. One, don't forget, don't forget. Emma is starting this Saturday. Yes. Here in town. And is that 1030? Is that correct? At 1030, Emma. On Saturday. On this Saturday. This Saturday, here in town. Be here or be square. Next That's Saturday, be there, be square. so in a week, and then it'll be up north at Iowa Falls. At 10.30. Still at 10.30. Yes. So keeping that consistent. Honestly, I don't remember the time I set for at Iowa Falls because it's been so long, but we're just going to say 10.30. 10.30 sounds like a good time. <laughs> um, then, I know you've mentioned this before. Did you want to do that one thing before? <gasps> me? Okay. Because you'd be very upset if you don't. I do. Cassie, can you hand me that power, please? So I had Miss Pat Stout, she's from Illinois, and she's just the sweetest. She, she heard me talking about how I love Seahawks, even though I'm angry at them for their betrayal of Russell Wilson. Um, but I love the Seahawks, and so she texted me, she's like, hey, I've got some Seahawks fabric, do you want it? And I'm like, sure, and I'm like, how much? And she's like, for nothing. I'm like, oh. So she sent me her Seattle Seahawks fabric, and I'm not sure how much is here, but it's quite a, quite a bit. So. I get my Seattle Seahawks fabric to do something with, and you're going to be right back? Because we're about ready to close up, so did you need to go to the bathroom? You do? Okay. Ready to go. All right. Make sure you wash your hands. And also, also tell everybody I don't pull some car up. Well, that was a secret. Hurry. It still is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> So, anyways, thank you, Miss Pat Stout, for my beautiful Seattle Seahawks, even though I am angry at them right now. <laughs> but I'm sure I will get over it. 
And if they don't make it to the, the playoffs or to Super Bowl, then my next team is obviously the Packers because my family in Wisconsin would be very disappointed if I wasn't a fan. So Steph has got something to show you while we're waiting for our boss. <laughs> Bye okay. time. Bye time. <laughs> so uh, we've been doing more decoupage, and I think we started doing this, talking about it one time, and... Um, my decoupage, I think, was we decided was a little old, so it was still a little sticky. Yeah. So we sprayed it with the clear acrylic spray, and that seemed to help okay. a little bit. So anyway, did this one, and I wanted to make sure I still had access to the pockets, so I just avoided that area. But anyway, so this is another fun thing that you can do, and we did it with a couple of them. I love that. That's really cute. Of course, it's decoupage, so I'm going to love yeah. it. Oh, and that's upside down, because... <laughs> There's the pocket in the back. So anyway, so yeah, a couple different things. So if you want to do it, I've ended up waiting for a while. But if you want, don't want to wait quite as long, I would say use new. Use, well, either use new or um, use the clear acrylic when you're done. You also use the fabric decoupage or Mod Podge. Yes. So I would yes. say use regular old-fashioned Mod Podge, not fabric, because it's a little bit different consistency. I think it's a little thicker. Okay. And so when I use the regular Mod Podge, it dries a lot faster. Okay. So there you go, people. Okay, guys. So, when I tell you, you're going to do it, okay? But not until I tell you. So get yourself ready. Thank you so much for hanging out with the best quilt shop owners here in Story City and Iowa Falls. We'll see you next week. Same so time, same so place. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Make it rain. Say bye. 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 Oh, I gotta end it. <laughs>